Welcome back everybody to the 5 p.m. update on Tropical Storm Debbie. Now, Debbie has been steadily strengthening uh, during the day as it's moving over these incredibly warm waters of the eastern Gulf of Mexico and additional strengthening is still anticipated possibly bringing Debbie to hurricane status before making landfall somewhere here in the Florida Big Bend and Florida Panhandle uh, early tomorrow morning. Uh, so that is why this red area here is a hurricane warning. Please remember that hurricane war or warning means hurricane conditions are expected. So if you're in this red area here, you really need to be making that last push to get preparations done and complete it before sun is down and then stay put. Stay put the rest of the night. Don't be out and about within this area because driving conditions will be uh, very, very difficult. Now, after it makes landfall here tomorrow over the Florida Big Bend, Florida Panhandle, it basically begins to slow down. And this is going to be the story of this storm, is this slow movement over the next several days. Why is that so important? Because it's going to sit over southeastern Georgia, uh, right off the coast of South Carolina. And why is that so important? And this might be the most important thing we talk about in terms of um, impacts for this storm, because so many people are going to look at this storm as just a tropical storm, just a tropical storm. And that's going to be a huge mistake because this slow, this really slow motion is just going to dump historic amounts of rainfall anywhere in this purple area. And if you've been following along, this purple area has been slowly expanding. So it's important that you stay tuned. The forecast is evolving. So basically anywhere uh, along into the east of the storm track. So here oh, again over northern Florida into southeastern Georgia. This is Savannah over eastern uh, southeastern South Carolina. This is Charleston uh, extending all the most all the way up to, to Hilton Head. So if you're anywhere in this purple area, we're looking at the potential for historic rainfall. And it's so often people uh, get confused with rainfall because it rains frequently. So people don't see rainfall as life threatening. But if you get some of these rainfall amounts that we're predicting, potentially over 20 inches, you're talking about you know, catastrophic flooding. It is, it'll be incredibly unsafe to move around. So what do you do? What actions do you take if you're in the swath of heavy rain? Go ahead and get your supplies now to stay at home for the next several days, meaning don't uh, be venturing out driving in the roads, especially not at nighttime. Uh, just get your supplies, get ready to stay home. The other thing, and this one's probably the most important, is listen to local officials. So local officials will tell you if an evacuation is necessary or what type of protective action that you need specific for your community. And I'm going to end with this. Please don't take the fact that this is just a tropical storm in this forecast area here uh, lightly. I'm telling you these heavy rains, these heavy rains, historic rains will make this storm feel like a major hurricane from an impacts perspective. So please, please, please take it seriously. We will be back tomorrow with updates at 11 and 5 p.m. And as always, you can follow the most up-to-date up information at hurricanes.gov.